Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome to Wedding Planning. Now, for those of you who thought that this might be a useful video about wedding planning, I'm sorry. It's probably not really going to be any use to most people at all. But I decided to speak to you a little bit about it because that's what I've been doing a lot of recently. Me and my... Oh, oh, I can't even bring myself to say it. It's, that sounds bad. Let me explain. I was going to say fiancé, okay? Now, being dyslexic, I hate the word fiancé. And the main reason is, is because whenever I try and write the word fiancé, I write it and I look back at it and it says finance. Every time, no matter how much I try, I write it, finance. No idea why. That's the main reason I hate the word. Also, I just don't like the sound of the word. So very often, I refer to Lady Hellish as my girlfriend or my partner. And I don't use fiance, even though we're engaged. But, you know, some people are like, hey, oh, no, oh, you forgot, she's, she's you're not just your girlfriend anymore, she's your fiancé, I'm like, she's my finance. And they don't really get what I'm talking about because I didn't explain the bit that I've just explained to you. But that isn't anything to do with wedding planning. Now, anyway, so wedding planning, yeah, there's so much to do in such a weird shape of time that oh, it's just weird. I mean, the other day I got, I was in my suit because we went around and had a look at the suits. And I looked at myself and I thought, this is what I'll be wearing when I get married. And I looked across at Lady Hellish and she looked at me and I thought to myself, that's weird. Because to me, when I was younger uh, and little, you know, when you're, you're when you're very little, you you just aspire to be everything that society says. You know, you you're going to grow up. You're going to have a wonderful job, a wonderful partner and kids and or whatever. But then you grow out of that, and, and you realise that people are different. People do things differently. And as I grew up, I I, I really lost the the idea that you had to get married, and. I was thinking to myself, well, I'm not really that bothered, to be honest. And um, for a long time, I was pretty much like that. I'm not going to get bothered. So I never really thought about it in any in-depth way. I never really planned or thought about it. But I suppose a lot of... a lot of To generalise, I don't do this much. Or do I? Maybe not. Generally, I generalise. Generally, I don't generalise, but I'm generalising. Okay? So blokes don't seem to do that much where women tend to do that more um however i no like most stereotypic blokes i never even thought about the wedding but stood there in my suit i thought to myself yeah i can see it and that was weird because it's the first time i'd seen it in my mind's eye and the more i go through this wedding process of planning various different things the more i can see of what's going to happen and how it's going to be. I mean, obviously I can't predict the future. We've not got YouTube time travel, have we? So, you know, we could do time travel. No, but it's weird because I haven't been imagining it. Maybe it wouldn't be so weird if I'd been thinking about it in the past or anything like that. Uh, but these days it's, you know, it's what I wanted and that's why I proposed. Um, but yeah. And the closer it gets and the more things get sorted, the weirder it gets. And I, I on the day, it's just going to be so amazingly weird. I, I don't think I'll, I won't, I don't think I'll be nervous. I don't, I don't see myself as being nervous on the day. A lot of people tend to get nervous. Um, so we'll see. But for some reason, I've got a vast amount of best men. Um, so... I've got plenty of me mates around me to keep me under wraps, I suppose. Um, I suppose that their main job is not making sure that I don't run away like some best men, I suppose. That's their first job, isn't it? But their their main job is to make sure that I'm not too out there and and too leery, I guess. I think they're, they're going to have to try and keep me calm and, 
and uh, and then keep me uh, subdued. Otherwise, I might get uh, too bouncy and too uh, no because. Although we're going to have a fun time at our wedding, I know we are, we're planning it, it sounds great fun. I, the ceremony is a serious thing, you know, it's one of the most important parts of your life. You can, you put it quite easily in the top, well it depends how many kids you have because that's also an important part of your life, but if you, it's most certainly probably the important part of the life up until that point, so it is going to be a very serious event wrapped around in lots of various different feelings and emotions and stuff so yeah wedding planning has been fun in some ways because it's, uh, it's I've explored a lot of different things that I didn't think I thought think about it's not just planning what is going to happen how you're going to pay for it or who you're going to invite it's how you're going to feel and how you want to look forward to it and what it means to you as well. This video is getting a bit deep so maybe I should move the camera. Nah, cut that. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.